Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Cattails Wildwood Story. I haven't played the first one, but I don't know if that matters. I don't think it does. Um, but I've only heard uh, like astoundingly positive things about this series. Um, I, I like cats and I like Stardew Valley and this sounded like both. So uh, my, my birthday is actually say like summer summer six so i'm gonna make my, my my cat's birthday the same select your game difficulty and other accessibility options you can change these letters later at any time in the game okay appreciate that i always love it when um you can change the difficulty at any time i never do i just like to kind of struggle on a little bit but uh it's about a time the three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land I do want to play the original Cattails, but I figured this would be a good place to start to see if um, the series is, is for me. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual med mediator of their world, the Forest Guardian. The world of the Guardian was law, and all cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. This is uh, reminding me of that one uh, Sandman story. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting place. A horrible rift was ripped, o ripped open in the world. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak vo voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found and a new temple must be built or else the guardian spirit would not survive. The spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The fright frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. I mean, he just told you. A great meeting was called and all the cats of the forest attended it. Together they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle i just want to double check for a moment sorry um i think this game is multi no it's actually only single player interesting maybe some would have the strength to build a better life i wonder if the original had multiplayer you fellas felis a cat of great renown is that what i named my cat did i name my cat felis i'm skipping now i <laughs> i'm sorry my patience for a story has waned uh, in the last few days i just like i do want to just like see if the game is for me before we're getting immersed in a in a world another day another campsite to establish this looks as good a place as any flat ground and good hunting nearby according to the scouts let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark i should have uh, made my cat look like my cat in real life do we really have to set up camp again we just did that yesterday when are we going to finally pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. I love uh, the variety we've got going on. The actual like design of the, the cat profiles is like really well done. Kind of, like we've gone for like a very crude pixelated look um, comparatively speaking. But uh, actually, I mean, even the, the, the sprites look pretty close to their profile counterparts. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere that's got the right resources to keep us going. Felis uh, will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Felis? Of course, Felis will make an announcement once, once we found our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. We've all survived the difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally turn out for the better. I suspect it will be soon. Spark, we really could use your help. Where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if they had some valerian to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Uh, blue flower, red thorns. I gotcha. Blue flower, blue flower red thorns. Saw a huge cluster of valerian just south of here, across the brook. I'm headed out to find some dinner. Remember, the valerian is just to the south. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. 
So, I mean, we are a cat and we are, you know, uh, we, we do have a tail. We can go through the water. I didn't expect that, actually. I thought we would have to, like, build a bridge or something. Oh, here we, here we go. So, like, I don't necessarily think that um, this is a series with a ton of depth, but I don't think that matters. Or maybe it does have depth. It's just not, like, a hugely challenging game. Um, it's it's one of those good vibe games, you know? Nothing but good vibes. We're just a cat. We're chilling, you know? We're, bring, we're doing uh, little chores, and it's adorable, you know? What's that smell? It smells like Valyrian. Did you find some? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I really think it would help my headache. Open your inventory and select the Valyrian. Okay. Uh, Q. This is your inventory. Gotcha. Select this. Uh, use. No. No, that was not it. <laughs> Social. View your relationships. No, that's not, that's not what we want. Hold. What's that? Mm. Select the Valyrian to hold it, then give it. Sp I mean, I th I thought I did do that. Press E to hold it in your mouth. It's interesting to me that that wasn't any of the buttons that it told me about. Hold. We're holding it now. Give Valyrian. Oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. Look at that face. I can do this now that my headache is gone. I'm ready to help build the shelter. Thanks, fellas. Felis. Sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Thanks for your assistance, Felis. I'm glad you found that herb. Really, uh, um, honestly, astoundingly good art on the cats. They are very, very accurate. I appreciate I appreciate this a lot actually. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is a wonderful way to make friends. Now we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from here. Oh yeah, we got a uh, Moggy. Those pesky slippers, slippery little mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You you're looking a little stressed out, you know. I regret to inform you that I have returned empty-handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food or else we're all going to be very hungry. You've always been an excellent hunter. Would you care to accompany me? Sure. Let's do this. Double tap. Okay. So we run in. We run in. We have to dodge through the wind. Clearing where I saw the mice is just south. I'll meet you there. Love the little, little animations. And I mean, like, yeah, it's a cozy game. It's It couldn't possibly be cozier. I mean, we are cats it's it's everyone's dream you know just like go ahead and bathe in the sun and uh catch a mice catch a mouse even better if you're owned i suppose in some ways but don't get too close if you do the mouse will notice you and run away once you're near pounce if you're successful you will have caught the mouse good luck press shift to sneak press space to pounce okay we shift, we, 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 we sneaking. We sneaking. We sneaking. Pounce. Oh, we got a, we got a pounce minigame. Pounce, we did it. We got the mouse. Bravo, bravo, you caught it. Great work. Turns out all I needed was a buddy, because I caught one too. Now we don't have to return empty-handed. There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. Use your nose to track them down whenever you get hungry. Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rub mole. You'll have to be... You must be famished from all the work you've been doing. Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now. Can you view your hunger bar in the lower left-hand corner of the screen? Looks like a fish. As you play, your hunger bar will decrease over time. Pick up the mouse with E, then open your inventory with Q. Find the mouse. Oh, I, I gotta say, maybe... A, oh, okay, we pick it up, not with our mouth, but we just pick it up. A little bit, uh, I'm struggling a little bit with some of the interface things, but I'm sure I will get used to it. Looked like it was tasty. Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It wasn't, it isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. I have a mouse to bring back with us. What do you say we get back to? I kind of want to do some more hunting. I kind of, I, I, I enjoyed that. What do you mean? What do you mean smoky black mist stuff? What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? 
Check it out. Uh-oh. What? It's a shadow cat. Uh-oh. That doesn't look friendly. Looks like you're on your own for this fight. I didn't expect this, to be honest, in this kind of game. You can use your claws to swipe and deal some damage. I'll probably take a couple hits to take it down, judging from the look of it. Press space to attack. Defeat the Voidling Cat with your claws. Claw. Fairly simplistic combat for now. Nicely done. You made quick work of that thing, whatever it was. You've got company again. Okay. Uh, you know, more of them? That'll be tricky. Oh, they're different colors. Two of them. What are you going to do? Defeat them with a charged attack. Hold space. They seem to tell me what to do, and then they tell me in the way that is like makes the most sense. Like, it's just simple language. Okay. Get, where are you guys going? Get destroyed. Get absolutely murdered. You showed them. Well done, fellas. I, I, I don't know. I've decided I don't know how this person, uh, this cat's name is pronounced. I think when you defeated these Voidling cats, the shadowy wall went away too. What do you think those guys were? Why did they attack us? We'll need to report this to the others. Well, we got some cool shadow dust. We wait, how do we how do we do that pounce thing? Is it control? I mean game is cute right now. I really like it. Attacked by angry shadowy cats? That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there lurking in the forest just beyond the camp? What if we aren't safe? Ah Jag is right, that sounds dangerous. What are we gonna do? Strange voidling cats, you say? How intriguing. What a wondrous opportunity. I would love to spot one for myself so I could research his behaviors. Alright, I'm a, I'm a, I might start skipping through some of the dialogue. I do, uh, I only have 10 days with this, but I only have, like, so much time to dedicate. Oh, hey, it's our, our forest guardian. I cannot long manifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. We are honored by your presence, great guardian spirit. I've missed you dearly. It is good to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. I've come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you will all settle in your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. Then a new temple shall be constructed. I shall abide with you all once more permanent settlement oh this is wonderful i think i speak for all of us when i say that we are ready to be home at last what of the voidling cats do not fear the voidling cats dangerous though they may be i will teach you to overcome their power all right i'm sorry i'm gonna start skipping activate the lion's roar skill yo we've got uh we've, we've got we've got um dragon shouts you've done well fellas with time and experience you will be able to improve your reliance roar and use it to even greater effect sounded terrific if i were a voidling cat i'd be quaking in my boots okay i would I, I, again i i promise you i would um spend more time with this if i was playing legit so we i i uh, swamp doesn't seem like so this is kind of like a it, it does feel semi like our, our um, Stardew Valley ish like where, what kind of uh, farm do you want to have I'm gonna go with the meadow I like the meadow more in some ways that looks like an ideal spot to settle so here's our colony options we can name it Wildwood that's uh, okay that's interesting sure we'll go with Wildwood colony title domain kingdom I like kingdom colony emblem I know it's a very I, I don't know I wouldn't say a nitpick but maybe um, I'd like to see like being able to make our own emblem I know that's a lot of extra work for basically no benefit would be kind of nice and then I'm gonna be the king sure 
Ching Cat. I like the sound of that. Our first light tomorrow, we will travel to our new home. Let's all hear a cheer for Felis, King of the Wildwood Kingdom. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Yeah, I mean, I decided I was only going to play one game where you play as a cat this year, and this is it. So, you know, we're done after this. Uh, you don't have to wait till 2024 before I play another cat game. Oh, we got houses? Home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish the town, haven't we? This is your new home. New den, uh, Felis. I'm just never going to decide. I'm not never going to land on a, on a choice for, for pronunciation. <laughs> I hope the location is all right. If not, you can always move it later. Inside, you'll find everything you need to feel right at home. A bed to sleep in, a calendar, even a scratching post to train your skills. Why don't you go check it out? Okay. I will. Sleep in your bed. Let's check out the scra scratching post. Oh, what? Oh, we can spend currency. Interesting. Do I have? I have some currency. So what does rejuvenate? Instantly cure all negative status effects from yourself and all nearby allies. Resets the cooldown of all other skills to zero so they can immediately be used once more. Applies a wound to all nearby enemies, damaging over time. I like that. Unlock deep cuts for 50 XP? Yes. Unlock the new skill. Would you like to equip it? Yes. There we go. And there's a... Uh, oh my god. There's actually a ton of skills in this game. Good lord. My goodness. We got some smooth jazz. I'm appreciating it. Go to sleep. Save progress. Cute. We can we can run around. Humble beginnings. Good morning. How did you sleep? There's one final thing we need to do before the Wildwood King Wildwood Kingdom is officially moved in. We need to construct a new temple. All right. Pick a spot for the temple to be built. This is the Founder's Stone. From here, you can manage all of the details of our kingdom. You can move buildings, view our stockpiles, change administrative details. There's a lot of uh, stuff stuff going on in this cozy cozy cat game. Pick a spot and an, any open plot will do. Use the temple building, place the temple building anywhere to continue. I, yeah, you can put it like anywhere, anywhere. Let's put it like, um, right here. I don't know. This seems like a good place. Place the temple. Close the build menu to continue. I think I figured I was going to have to uh, collect resources to build the guardian temple. Should take some time to get acquainted with a new home, walk around town, or take a trip out to the wilderness. I'm certain you'll find something to do. There's plenty of good hunting and lots of herbs to forage outside the town. I'm sure everyone would love it if you'd stop by to say hello too. So yes, you can you go and make friends, give get you know find someone uh, that you you know want to form a strong bond with or friendship, and um, we've got different um, stationery. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like a find your own way kind of game, you know. Figure out how you want to uh, play. There's a bird. I mean, let's try and uh, catch that bird. Got it. Nice. Got the bird. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you can go hunting. There's some interesting stuff here. There's got like magic systems i'm the steward of a great treasure i watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last do you wish to challenge me for it yes then prepare yourself i'll ask you questions oh not a combat challenge it's a trivia okay correctly answer three questions and i'll give you a reward but if you miss three questions you're out 
Here we go. Question one. True or false? Cats have a very bad sense of smell. False. That is correct. Question two. How old was the oldest domestic cat on record? Um, well, it's going to be 38 because 25 actually seems fairly conservative. That is correct. True or false? Orange cats are more likely to be male than female. Um, I think that's true, actually. That is correct. Apparently, I know a lot of things about cats. Great work. I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host. Thanks for playing. You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your run speed has increased. Nice. Wee. Let's uh, do some more hunting. Pounce. We got it. We got the mag magpie. Let's see if there's more. Okay, is there herbs we can collect? Can we get that butterfly? Nope. Meadow outskirts. I wonder if we can jump off this. Oh, wait. We can uh, cut the um, grass as well as flowers and stuff. Oh, there's a, there's a mouse. I guess we need to be on the same level as them. Oh, we scared them away. Shoot. So there's money, apparently. Cat's got currency, you know. Oh no, so close. We missed it. Is that something we can collect? Yes. Marigold added to my collection. So, I mean, this is this is cool right now. Uh oh, uh, that's something I could have caught. Nice, just barely. Um, I'm wondering how things are going to develop. Doing lots of successful hunting right now. Are we going to be able to... I mean, we're going to build some stuff, probably. Ah. Uh, what is this? Is that a strawberry? Raspberry. Ah. Oh, bummer. I wonder if, um, like, similar to Stardew Valley, we're going to want to, like, catch one of everything and maybe donate them. I, I'm definitely interested in, in, like, what we've got going on in this game. Oh, let's, uh, let's do, like, one more mouse. Oh, never mind. Well, we caught a lot of things, so let's, let's bring it back and, uh... We could distribute some food. What's in here, though? This is Coco's Den. I'm sure they wouldn't mind you checking it out once you get to know them better. Inside, you can see some very cozy furniture. It's clear that Coco enjoys entertaining. Who do you think visits regularly? Here stands the Founder Stone, a mighty monument whose markings tell the tale of the Wildwood Kingdom. What would you like to do? You colony stockpiles. Um, okay, so yeah, we can donate some prey and some herbs and treasure. I don't know why the treasure has a burn rate. I'm not sure how to contribute to that, but let's contribute um, some of our stuff. Donate a mouse. Donate two magpies. Prey stockpile has reached its burn rate. Its perk has been activated for the remainder of the day and its value decreased by three. Oh, so I guess that... You, when you contribute enough, it activates the, the perk. Friendship points are easier to gain with all colony cats. Interesting. Okay. And we can contribute wood, stone, and sand. And I'm assuming we're going to need those. Yeah. So we can upgrade the town with um, <laughs> refined litter. Let's, uh, I'd like to figure out how to get some wood. So what is this? This is... We got... Oh, this is a communal space. Glad you, you've come by. I'm just about fully set up and all moved in. I run a general goods store called Ember's Emporium. I hope you'll stop by for your, all your shopping needs. 
Also, if you see Spark, can you tell him that their shift started an hour ago? Being a parent is tough when your kid is so flight flighty. Let's chat. I sincerely hope that my shop will make everyone's lives easier. This kingdom relies on all of us to do our best and provide value to the lives of others. Nice. Oh, this is Ellie. Lovely day to lounge about, don't you think? I'm Ellie, in case you had forgotten. <laughs> Sorry if that sounded rude. It's just that remembering names is kind of my thing. If you're ever unhappy with your name, come see me. I can change it for you. Yeah, let's do that now, actually. Change my name. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be Percy. Well, why is it in caps? There we go. That's, that's my cat's name. That has a nice ring to it. I'll let everyone know that they should call you Percy from now on. Sounds good. There's our stockpile of uh, rodents. What's up, catch any bugs today? Let's chat. Wanna see my bug collection? I keep it in my room. I'm still working on getting everything categorized by season. Right now I have them ordered by my favorite color. So maybe we can catch bugs in the future? Okay, that's... That's all we can do there. So what do you got here? Task board. View daily task. Um, does any cat have some extra catnip to spare? I would be grateful to any cat who can deliver some to me. Collect three catnip. Reward three task tokens. Accept the task. There's Jag. What do you got to say for yourself, Jag? I used to live in the northern mountains back before the big move to the Wildwood. Never thought I'd leave home, but here I am. Lots of good memories back there. Hopefully I can make some new new ones out here and get it, uh, get over it. Going to try to keep an eye on things around town for you. Some cats got to keep the peace and watch out for petty crimes and all that. I'll do my best. Keep, uh, keep quiet and stay out of your way as I go about my duties. I'm going to do my best to protect the kingdom with everything I've got. Dedicated my life to protecting my old whole town hometown. I like to think that I was pretty good at it. Of course, the town was destroyed and I've got to live with that guilt. It wasn't my fault. There's nothing you can do about an entire mountain collapsing from an earthquake. I'm trying to not take it personally. Let's get some catnip. What is that over there? Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh, you can, um, you have an extra chance. If it comes back around. Oh, we got other, tons of other cats. Hello. As a younger cat, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm trying to redeem myself by committing my paws to public service. Can I ever repay the debts of my past? I wonder if they're going to have profile pictures as well. What did we just pick up? That's more Valerian. Oh, we got some catnip. So that's what it looks like. It's a green, little green guy. We are running out on our um, food stamina. Luckily, we are very good hunters. Nice. It seems to me that if we got closer, if we get closer, um, that bar is a little bit uh, more forgiving. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm wrong about that. So let's eat, uh, eat a magpie. Uh, oh, R to eat. There you go. Oh, okay. We can we can uh, catch bugs. You gotta you gotta kill them first, though. Some good protein right there. Nice. We get, um, I'm getting, getting lots of, I'm pretty good at this hunting. Or at least our, our character is. So I'm, I'm still trying to find some catnip. We got a lot of, uh, like it feels like a very open world to explore. We 
Need to find some more catnip. Daisy added to your collection. We only have so much inventory space also. I wonder how far out we can go. This is, uh, I mean, it feels very open world, but some of this is feeling like, is there like a, a world map? We've got frogs now, like we're in a kind of a swampy area. I wonder if we can chop down trees. I haven't actually tried. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Maybe we can, but not right now. I feel like it's getting later in the day. Oh, we've got we've got fish as well. I don't know how to I don't know how to fish yet. Oh, missed it. There we go. We got it. We got a frog. Frog added to your collection. I'm still trying to find um, catnip. I don't think this is it. Is it? Catnip. We've gotten three licorice, not catnip. Oh, what is this? Looks like we can't get up there. Not yet sure how we get certain resources. Okay, this is definitely something we need. Oh, is this a puzzle? Do we need to hit all these uh, buttons? Yes. And we get something. What do we get? You found a power paw. You're filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum hunger is, has increased. Nice. It's a nice little boon. I think that's, um, that might be more licorice, but it might also be catnip. Yes. Okay, we just need one more. Oh, what are all these screens? You can tab through them. Okay, so yeah, there's a collection of different animals. So you do... It is... It's like it's that kind of game. You you want to catch, like, everything? <gasps> yes. I don't know what it is, but we got it. Dove. We got a dove. It's like uh, reverse Pokemon, you know, or... We're just killing everything. And uh, adding it adding it to our vast collection of of kills. And we can catch fish as well. It's getting late in the day, it's getting like nighttime. Love the transition, it's very subtle. It adds quite a lot. But, like, how do we get back home? Do we have a map? Oh, we do have a map. Okay. Influence 56%. I wonder if we can, like, expand our kingdom. A battle rages here. Okay. I'm really just kind of experimenting with, like what we can or cannot do, like testing the boundaries. Wait, oh, I mean, that's not catnip, but it's some kind of herb. So that bar at the top actually means our influence, what our influence is in the region. So undoubtedly we'll be able to, to change that. Dare I say influence that in the future. Fully nighttime, I think. What's that? A sphinx moth. Wonder if you can like chase creatures down instead of uh, doing the whole sneaky pounce thing.
Do we have that catnip yet? Two catnip, gold meal, licorice, lots of licorice. Not, uh, no three catnip yet. I'm gonna, like, run out of time, I think. Where are we? We could go east and do, like, some kind of battle. Should probably sleep at some point. Yeah, I mean, it's fully nighttime now. There's definitely a lot more going on. Oh, I love the, the reflection. Like, you can see uh, the moon phases in the water. All right. So, where... Let's let's try one of these combats. I want to see what this what this does. Still looking for catnip, but you know. Uh oh, oh God, what? Oh my God, this is a lot more intense than I thought it would be. So we got more of these voidlings. Oh, I died. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Your vision flickers out as you fall to the ground. This cannot be the end, can it? You must keep fighting. In the depths of your dark dreams, you hear the muffled sound of a familiar voice calling out. I forgot to ch uh, go to the guardian temple, didn't I? Goodness me, Percy, you're awake. Excellent. You're looking pretty bad when we found you. Lucky, lucky we got to you when we did. Never fear, I have patched up your injuries. A little rest has done you some good. I'll just, uh, need to access you, assess you, sorry, once more before I set you loose. May have dropped some things. Oh, no, I dropped all my kills. Uh, oh, I lost the can. I lost everything. I lost everything that matters. What did I even keep? Oh, my God. That seems absolutely, like... Jesus. Hello, Percy. I trust that you uh, are staying busy today. Let's chat. Citizens of a proud kingdom deserve every possible advantage. That's why we've got to make our claim as strong as possible and fast. What can we do in here? Can we solve some kind of puzzle involving a ball? The new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You have done well in its construction. Percy Coco, I thank you for your efforts for my new home. I shall watch over our fledgling kingdom. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. I sense there are threats on all sides. While I will do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be vulnerable. We will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new cats, we can strengthen our community and better our chance of survival. This must be done. Must be our highest priority. Oh, what? It's beautiful. What exactly is it? This is the pillar of the Wildwood. I've created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit new residents to the Wildwood Kingdom. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the Wildwood. They will join us when they see that together we are stronger than we ever could be alone. Use the Pillar of the Wildwood to discover new cats to recruit the kingdom. Each cat has different needs that must be met before they may be recruited. By donating the, don the correct items, you can fulfill those needs. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services in town. Every new resident is a victory. Okay. So yeah, I'm starting to maybe suss out a gameplay loop here. Okay. Oh, neat. Oh, so we need to go and collect like specific things. Well, we can actually get this one. We have all those things. Uh, uh, we got Alabaster, yes. You recruited Alabaster to join your kingdom. What a, what a charming looking lad or, 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 uh, Lass, you've unlocked gardening, but they'll need a place to live. Let's go build them a new home. 
Place the following buildings to continue Alabaster's Den. Oh, we can, like, change how it looks? Hey, I can't. Okay, here we go. Let's put it over here. Since they're gardening, uh, let's make it, like, a... a bush. You've unlocked gardening. You can now use the garden to grow fresh herbs and flowers. Please place the garden anywhere to continue. Oh. Um... Well, I mean, I'd kind of like to put it a little bit closer and more accessible. Like, right here seems like a good place. Looks good. I'm finished. Let's do it. Every new resident is like a single stone laid in a mighty wall. Together we will- we give meaning and purpose to one another. We can, um, do this again, but, you know, maybe we want... Okay, so this is, this is the loop, okay? We got, we got to go and make some kills and collect some herbs. We can do some gardening. Things will become a little bit easier. Uh, and then we get more cats. We increase our influence. It's, uh, it's a, it's a good loop. I, 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 I see now why this game is so well-loved. Because, I mean, like, on top of being stupidly charming, it's also just a good game. You know, it's, it's got a good loop. It's got a very compelling loop. Do we have... What is this? Mining. Oh, we can do mining? Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Hey, what's with all this, the noise up here? I'm trying to take my break, for crying out loud. Then you come along and trample all over the ceiling like you own the place. You must be the new guy. Again, the artwork on the little uh, profiles are, like, is insanely good corporate sent you right let's see if those claws of yours okay what do you mean you're not from corporate the things i have to put up with here's the deal i've got to mine i've got a mine to run we're falling behind schedule we've got quotas to meet deadlines the whole shebang it's not like me to grovel so i won't but we could use your help anyways listen i don't like this any more than you do see that cave behind me over there yeah that's the one it's got ores, gemstones, riches beyond your wildest dreams. Yep, it's all true. Just need worker, workers to dig them out, bring them to, back to me so I can ship them off to corporate. Those claws look sharp enough to break up the boulders and retrieve their contents. The deeper you dig, the better the items you can find. Pay you in mole cash. <laughs> all right, go find some gems. All right. Enter mine level one. Mine level 1. Levels until the next rest stop is 24. We can break boulders. We get stuff. Rock debris. So, yeah, I mean, I hate to call it out, but I mean, this feels very much like the mine in Stardew Valley. Um, and, you know, it's a good format. I haven't seen it, like, done too many times, so, you know, yeah, why not? Why, why reinvent the... Whoa! The bat attacks back. Did not see that coming. Ouch. Um, unleash a primal roar that will cause nearby voidling cats and some other enemies to flee for a short period of time. So that hurt quite a bit. We'd need... We'd want to get some herbs to... Um, you know, aid or recovery. Okay. Going down. Mine level four. There's another bat. There's something... Is that just a lantern down there? Let's just keep moving. I kind of wish it didn't tell me every time how long we've got to wait. Molt. Oh, all, wait, all this digging is making me mighty hungry. You want to keep tabs on your stomach down here. I like to pack a snack from home before I try to go too far. And you might find some nasty critters down here that'll fight you if you see you, if they see you. Might make sense to bring some healing herbs too. But if you bring too much, you won't have any room to bring, haul back gems. So try to strike the right balance. Can we, um, hmm can eat some licorice. 
increases your movement speed, restores a small amount of health. Marigold. Um, use. Um, we can eat some berries. That wren looks upside down. In fact, all of these look upside down. I guess they're all dead, so that makes sense. So, can we break through this? No. We got some money. Mole money? Okay. I should probably increase our experience. The staircase leads further down. These stairs are broken and dangerous. They cannot be used in their current state. If only you had a masonry kit. Is that the only way down? So now I have to go? Oh no, we found a better staircase. We've got traps and stuff. Game is getting dicey. We do have a couple kills in my inventory, so I should be okay for food. You can uh, do a charge attack to actually blow through quite a lot of um, rocks. Now, what is this? Enormous lock is preventing you from using the stairs. This must be a key hiding around. Okay, so things... Oh, the key is right there. Okay. Things are... things are developing. I don't really want to fight the bat, but I will. We can do a roar. There we go. I feel like doing the charge is actually worth it. If you can blow through like three rocks like at once like that. Where's the stairs? This really is like Stardew. Cause I uh, can't like, I don't know. I can't help but compare a little bit. Oh God, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna die. I died. Okay, and then we lose all of our stuff. Death is like, like super punishing for this kind of game. And yeah, we're gonna lose like all of the stuff we took down there. Yeah. I mean, we get to keep some stuff. Ugh. I mean... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna... I need to go and get some more skills, I think. So that I don't constantly die like that when I'm in combat. We got some mail. Sign-on bonus. Oh, we got some money. Mole cash. Golden seal. New name. Good, good day. Task tokens. So we got some task tokens. Oh, I guess I didn't succeed in my business record player okay so we can we, we can find music as you gaze you see an image of the skies appear today expect clear skies all day long right now it's sunny outside there will be rain showers all day tomorrow summon molby who's molby oh we can do renovation place furniture okay interesting Okay, can we, uh, we, we must have, we must have some experience. Yeah, we've almost got enough for three things. Resets the cooldowns of all other skills to zero if, so they can be used immediately once more. Um, focus your mind becoming invulnerable to damage and knock back for a short period. Uh, 
Uh, return home. That seems like a really good one. Equip it. Hunter's Gamble. If you your next pounce, pounce is a success, you'll catch two prey instead of one. Tiger's Breath. Summon allies. Summon allies seems like a really good one. Use in any map region to instantly gain a small amount of colony influence there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, there's quite a lot going on here. Nine lives. What is it? What does leveling up return home do? Let's do like shield. So we should have a bit more going on for our combat. Well, I mean, it, it's we're, we're doing. I seem to be doing a lot of long videos, but um, there's a lot going on in this game. A lot more than I thought. Tbh. Can we? What can we buy? Uh, I am gonna probably wrap up this video pretty soon, but this is this is really cool. Out running errands. All sh uh, if shopping is on your list, let's uh, visit the shop. Modest pockets. Items will now stack up to a maximum of five in each of your inventory slots. We can buy food. We probably could have bought the. Uh... No, we actually can't buy the uh, catnip here. We can buy furniture. Litter box. That's funny. Not, not too much there I'm interested in, actually. So yeah, like, if I was going to continue um, playing this, I would probably, you know, seek some tasks. Today's is collect queen of the night. I'm actually not sure what that even is. But I would, I would uh, seek it out. Um, and then we want to add, well, we could do farming. How does one farm? I have to believe we can like, if we put like Valyrian in our mouth, um, hold it. I think it, that's all we want to do is hold it and then drop. Is it, can we do like that? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. What is this? Crafting. Plant food recipe. Dried roots recipe. Golden seal. Oh, okay. We need seeds. Make golden seal seeds. And then we can make valerian seeds. Looks like there's like better seeds. So we actually, we want to pick those up. And make some seeds. Okay, then we can use rock debris to make plant food. Okay. Um, still, it's not as straightforward as you would really want, because, like, now what do I do? Do I hold the seeds? I hold the seeds, sow them. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little bit cumbersome. I wish you could just like hot bar it kind of like in Stardew. But we, we've we got it figured out. You've sown valerian seeds. Leave it be. Now we want to do plant food. That's the best we, we can only fertilize one. Because I don't have, oh, I guess I could make more plant food. Surely to God, I've got more stone. Actually, it takes three stone to make one of these, so I don't have that much. We could make some out of Void Marrow. I like that you can just skip that animation. I've, I mentioned this in my uh, While the Iron's Hot game, but like an animation, no matter how nice, is, uh, you know, going to be feel tedious after a while. We've got Iron Ore, Golden Seal. I wouldn't mind like being able to grow Catnip.
all right well um this is this is really neat like i say i probably would uh like try and um we'd want to like seek out adding new cats to our our uh our town and increase our influence do some tasks it does have that kind of like play it at your own pace style that um stardew has you know done so well is is well known for oh yeah we could like add some new cats to our town possibly unlock new mechanics or maybe just add some you know uh, an ability to increase our kingdom's influence what, what, what can we do here oh wow there's whoa oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here happy ending cannot come in the middle of the story a quest may not simply be abandoned help may not come for a long long time but not forever Hope will return after even the harshest of tragedies. What is all this? Salona was one of the first kits born into the newly formed mountain domain. The statue was erected as a reminder to watch for falling rocks. This is like a graveyard. There's so many cats. I have to wonder if these aren't actually based on people's real life cats seems like the kind of thing that um would be nice to add to a game might be the devs cats might be people who were um very influential in the community or you know very active in the community we got more cats over here or they could be made up i don't know i'm, I'm just theory crafting here but this definitely, it feels like enough of them, like if they're all named. All of hints, stay curious, question everything, don't stop creating, and keep being wonderful, amazing, imaginative. Yeah, I mean, uh, it feels a bit too personal not to be based or like rooted in reality a little bit. All right. Well, um, if you have played Cattails Wildwood Story, definitely let me know in the comments what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the video any anyway, you know, it helps. Um, and uh, consider liking the video and subscribing if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.